Hey folks, Quilly Keen here and welcome to another Unity 3D and also Blender tutorial. Uh, this past weekend I participated in Ludum Dare. It's a 48 hour game programming competition. And I made a game that I thought was really fun and involves running around and smashing up a city. And there's a lot of destructible geometry. And a few people asked if I could make a tutorial on how to make um, this sort of thing in Unity. So that's what I'm going to do today. We'll do a quick tutorial. Let me uh, show you the game a little bit. So it is a standard sort of first person shooter interface and we've got some buildings and parts of a city and I can go to any one of these buildings and I've got these laser beams that I can shoot out of my eyes uh, and uh, I can just start blowing up the building and you can see there's debris that goes flying all over the place and it's just it's pure chaos. Um, so we're going to look at doing that. First thing to do, start up Unity. I've got a completely blank project here. Just started from scratch, there's nothing going on. We'll set up a very basic scene um, and uh, then we'll look into the specifics. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to create a plane to stand on. There we go. I'm going to make sure that it's, uh, whoa, that it's centered at the origin. There we are. I'm going to center on that. Good. And uh, I'm going to import in the standard character controller package for Unity 3D. I'm going to go kind of fast here because people can, can pause and rewind on YouTube and I want to make sure the pace is up for anyone who's, uh, who's comfortable with some of this. So we've brought in those standard assets and if I go to character controller and just drop a first person character controller down here on the map, we notice two things. First of all, we want our guy to be, let's say we center him again and you'll notice that he is cut into the plane so we have to bring him up one unit to stand on, on it. And in addition to that, the plane is far, far too small. So let's scale it maybe, uh, I don't know, five by five. That's pretty huge, but it'll do it. And then I'm just gonna take my um, my guy here, back him up, get rid of the extra camera. And there we go. Very basic little scene that we should be able to kind of run around in. Uh, we're gonna want a light. So let's drop a light in here as well. Uh, game object, create other directional light. And uh, if you have the uh, pro version or if you have the trial version at least, you can go ahead and uh, turn on shadows. It'll look pretty nice once we've got some objects in there. Okay, so I'm gonna save my scene under assets. We're just gonna call this test, uh, or you know, we're gonna call this scene. Uh, normally I would create a bunch of folders to organize my stuff, but this is gonna be a very simple scene, so we're gonna not, we're not gonna need that sort of thing. So we want some sort of cube that we are going to be able to destroy. Now I could go into the game object, create other and create a cube here. But the thing is, um, the built in unity cube is fine for testing, but we're going to do slightly more advanced stuff with it. So we really need a proper cube model. And for that, we are going to load up blender 3d. 